The Department of Justice is rolling out new policies on policing. Federal agents are now prohibited from the use of chokeholds and uh, restraints unless there is a clear threat of death or serious bodily injur injury to the officer or someone else. The department is also restricting the use of no-knock warrants. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the policies are aimed at building trust and confidence within the public. All right, so joining us now to talk just about the about that, the new policies and the new efforts uh, to police local police departments is BNC chief legal expert Laura McNeil. I mean, uh, Laura, I mean, to say the least, it just sounds like, really? <laughs> policies to police the police who police us. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, a lot of people, um, there's a lot of confusion the way that the announcement was made, but essentially these federal monitors are actually independent consultants, and what they do is they are in charge of enforcing consent decrees. Uh, we've seen de consent decrees, for instance, with the Ferguson Police Department in the aftermath of the Michael Brown shooting. And so their job is to make sure that whatever reform measures the Department of Justice says they need to implement to stop discrimination and violations of civil rights within their police department are actually done. So are local police departments likely to even follow these new guidelines? They're not, and that's the disappointing part, you know, that I understand your frustration and many Americans, because these rules only apply to uh, federal, um, in terms of the monitors, uh, federal police. But um, let me correct that, I apologize. Local police departments are the ones that are under the consent decrees, so yes, they will have to comply to those consent decrees by the uh, Department of Justice, and the federal monitors are just there to make sure, as I stated earlier, that they follow those consent decrees. So local police departments still have to follow what those federal monitors say. So, I, I, okay, so I guess just so I understand this and if anyone else at home um, needs a little clarity. So state police, they don't have to follow ultimately. No, they do. So they're, they're two separate issues. So uh, what the Department of Justice said, for instance, earlier today, they banned chokeholds for all federal police officers. Uh, that does not apply to state police. But the Department of Justice also said that they're going to limit our place on limitations on federal monitors. These are individuals that make sure that any consent decree, any uh, rules, uh, reform measures that are put in place with respect to police reform, meaning, let's just say hypothetically, at the end of the investigation in Minneapolis, the Department of Justice says, you know what, we see a pattern in practice of discrimination, and therefore we want to require all police officers to get training in implicit bias, in cultural sensitivity. We want the policy for excessive force to be revised and reformed. Well, those federal monitors are overseeing those local police departments to make sure that they follow the court's rules and the court's orders, and that's essentially what they're doing. And so what uh, Justice, uh, excuse me, Department of Justice Merrick Garland has done today is he said, you know what, we need more more oversight over these monitors. The police departments were saying, hey, we feel like they're extending our time under this court order or court supervision because they're making money off it. So one of the things, for instance, that uh, the DOG did is they limited, they put budget caps essentially on how much those monitors can make. All right, Laura McNeil, thank you for that update.